the speaker. I call the honourable member, Mecca Waiteri. Tēnā koe. Tēnā koe, Mr. Speaker. Uh, tēnā tātou katoa ngā memo te whare nei. Uh, e te iwi uh, Ngāti Haua, ko tai mai, uh, tēnei tumihi ki au koutou, nau mai hara mai, ki tō, tō whare i tēnei wā. Uh, nō reira, uh, inga mana inga reo, tēnā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I join with uh, previous speakers in honouring the second reading of the Ngāti Haua uh, Claim Settlement Bill and join with uh, particularly members on the Māori Select Committee in ensuring that the examination on submissions were well examined and uh, constructive uh, recommendations have been brought to the House, Mr. Speaker. Um, the purpose of the Ngāti Haua Bill is to give effect to the deed of settlement signed on the 18th of July 2013, in which the Crown and Ngāti Haua agreed to the final settlement of the non Raupatu Historic Treaty of Waitangi Claims of Ngāti Haua. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I join uh, with uh, my member on this side, the Honourable Nanaia Mahuta, in acknowledging the unique uh, settlement of Ngāti Haua, the unique history of Ngāti Haua, uh, the breaches that occurred to the people of Ngāti Haua, um, and their commitment and uh, resilience to getting and participating in a reconciliation process that has brought this bill to the House. So I do acknowledge and compare Ngāti Haua who are in the gallery and for those that are at home. Uh, of course, the third reading is where the rubber hits the road, when the act becomes, uh, when the bill becomes an act. Um, but I do want to acknowledge those who have uh, um, turned up to support this, the second reading. Um, like I do with all treaty bills, try and find the unique part uh, uh, in each settlement. And uh, uh, my colleague Nanai has already alluded to it, and I do uh, briefly want to touch on it, and that's the uh, commitment of Ngāti Hoa towards the tumuna, tum Tumuaki. I particularly want to acknowledge uh, Anaru uh, Thompson and his lovely wife, Henia Love Thompson, the Tumuaki on Ngāti Haua. Um, and in acknowledging them, recall my first introduction uh, to Anaru many, many, many years ago uh, through the late uh, Honourable Parakura Hurumia in our many visits to uh, Turanga Waiwai. And what a lovely man Anaru is. And I want to acknowledge him in referencing Parakura in his passing uh, uh, that accorded uh, many of us who worked alongside Parakura uh, to understand the intricacies of iwi, hapu, whānau in terms of our people. And I was privileged enough to meet Anaru and in Parakura's way uh, trying to tell me that his role was so significant because of the importance of his support of the Te Kingitanga. And I learnt uh, in my uh, time alongside Parakura around the importance that an the role of Ana Anaru plays um, in terms of the total of the Kingi Tanga movement. So I do want to acknowledge that. And I do want to acknowledge uh, that through this settlement that a contribution to the Institute of the Tumaki has been negotiated. And if I had my way, I think of a lot of kaumātua around our mutu who honour, protect and manaki uh, kaupapa Māori within our whānau, within our hapu. And uh, it always, I, I, I think about the kaumātua that do a lot of travelling on behalf of our people to support and uphold the mana of whānau, hapu and iwi. And I do, so it's, it's fitting that you have a component in your settlement package that not only acknowledges the role that Anaru is playing currently, but the ro role of the Tumaki of Ngāti Hoa has played Mairano and hopefully continues to play as we go forward. So, Mr Speaker, it was really to acknowledge um, in celebrating uh, the second reading of Ngāti Hoa settlement bill and acknowledging the significant role that the Tumaki plays in and not just for the Kingi Tanga, and not just for Wakato Tainui, but for all the Motu. And uh, so I can't labour enough around the importance in acknowledging it uh, in my small contribution on this significant bill from Ngāti Hoa. So, Mr Speaker, I, um, I want to, uh, again, support all members in this House in commending 
uh, this bill to, to for its second reading and look forward to it in the committee stages. Um, I join too in looking forward that uh, when the third reading that we will have a, a gallery full of Ngāti Hoa to celebrate it in fitting style, uh, the significant uh, milestone in your history, and to also acknowledge uh, the, the uh, opportunity and the opportunities of the doors unlocking for the future of Ngāti Hoa, uh, particularly in relation to our rangatahi. Ngāti Hoa Rangatahi uh, and the opportunities that a settlement like this will bring to the iwi of Ngāti Hoa as we go forward and also for the wider uh, interest of the communities throughout Aotearoa. So I, I say thank you to our negotiators of Ngāti Hoa, the people of Ngāti Hoa, for uh, your part in getting us to this point. Um, as I always do acknowledge the Minister of Treaty Negotiations, uh, the Honourable Chris Finlinson, um, he couldn't do what he, he does without the support of his officials, so I want to acknowledge the officials, OTS, um, and other officials that have participated in this significant bill. Um, of course, I cannot go without acknowledging um, the colleagues of the Māori Affairs Select Committee. Um, as previous speakers have said, we've had several submissions. Um, at, at, held at Lake Karapiro, and every time I go back there, I. I always have vis visions of uh, National Waka Ama um, and being hosted by the lovely people of Ngāti Hoa um, up there. Yeah. Yes, I see you, Daniel, up there calling races. Um, uh, and also, of course, the work of, of um, and the stewardship of our Chair, um, the Honourable Tohine. So, Mr Speaker, without further ado, I uh, support wholeheartedly the second reading of this significant bill uh, on behalf of Ngāti Hoa and commend it to the House. Kia ora tato. Mr. Speaker, um, I call the honourable member.